Hey guys, welcome back to Operation Exploration. This is episode 25, and we are going to be doing a rescue mission before the pod. Now, I have been talking to Mighty Asa there not that long ago, and he believes that the rover was set to recharge, which makes sense because if you can't contact the rover, it's because either a power source or an antenna has been knocked off. Um, there is a solar panel on top of it, but if it's not getting the sun, there's no point, you know, there's no point of it being there. So what we're going to do is we're going to send up a kind of like a rescue ship, and what that's going to do is that's going to dock um, behind the rover. So we're going to have uh, we do know that there is a connector on the the base on the back of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some sort of like a rescue ship that can dock with the back of it. So yeah, it's it's going to be a wee bit of a task, but we'll see if there is. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll end up taking the rover back or sending a new one up, but we'll see what we can do. Um, unfortunately, there was no merge box on the rover. Um, it was something that I was meaning to do. One of the main reasons why there was I've left the merge box on the pod is that you can join additional sort of appliances to it. So say, for example, you needed to add something to it, just join it onto the roof. But unfortunately, I didn't do the same with the pod. And would be nice that if there was some sort of like a merge block where you could put like a battery, connect the battery onto the merge block, and there it's got this uh, battery connected to it without having to worry about um, connecting with the connector in awkward spots. It's just you simply like land on top of the the rover, deploy the battery on it, and then fly off. Now, um, we're not going to do it with the ground pit yet. That's going to be in a later episode. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make. Um, a remote control flying ship to go to the moon. Now it is going to connect to the satellite, it's going to be using the laser um, so that's going to be on top um, so let's get underway with that so let's get some oh, let's get some basic supplies first so let me see if we haven't got any of that, let's get some steel plates 200 should be alright, some interior plates. Ah, oh. uh, should be enough. And what we'll do is, first thing is, we'll go and get advanced rotor and connect that. So let's put that here. Yeah, same place as we had before. Let's remove that. Let's add a small head. It's gonna be a small grid ship. Small head, there we are. And um, I don't think it's yeah that is really nice. Uh, something's oh uh, yeah it's the the builders for that. Um, so let's go and turn them off momentarily for a second. And uh, that's it there. It's off. And this one here is off. There we go. Now it shouldn't be building anymore. Just gonna turn that weather off first. I know we shouldn't really be doing this, but it does get very, very loud. There we are. Now, um, let's think about this. We just need the basics. We need thrusters in each direction. Uh, what else do we need? Batteries, remote control, antenna, laser antenna. Um, a landing leg. A camera to see what we're looking at. Um, I think I might dedicate an episode to testing out various um, sort of objects in the game. I'm not sure how long a hydrogen engine will last in a hydrogen tank, like a small grid and large grid. So it'd be good to work out some timings for that and draw a graph up in Excel of like you no know, like power consumption so like how much power it uses when it's idling how much power it goes through whenever it's at full thrust and then somewhere in between like every 10 or so in between and then work out a graph and that'll give us a rough estimate of how long something will last so say for example you have one hydrogen tank and you have four hydrogen engines you know that from the distribution across them four engines how long that's going to roughly last and give you a sort of a window of how long it takes to get from point A to point B. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, 
we are going to build this rescue ship first. So if we are going to be doing that, let's do it as light. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to go up a few blocks and come out a few blocks like that. And we want um, we want a hydrogen tank. It kind of makes sense to connect it onto this, so we can charge it up. Do we want a forward-facing connector? Well, it kind of makes sense if we had a forward-facing connector, we'd be able to connect it up to the back of the rover when we're flying. So yeah, let's do that. Let's remove this here. Let's see if we can... That looks like it's a bit level, so let's see if we can get a connector on the back of that. And let me see... Um, we can use some clever techniques. What happens if we put a connector there? No, we need to come out another three or four there. Yeah, six. Seven. Right. But, I have an idea. Seven. Let's put that. Oh, it's still in its way. Hmm. I wonder if we can put a piston there and push it over. So we'll say, let's see like this. And put the connector on here. And let's get that built. And let's uh, reverse that. Right, um, I need to go over a couple of blocks. How many blocks is that roughly? About two? Yeah, about two blocks. Um, so we go this. And then if we put the connector on... It'll probably not go on here because of that, but yeah. That's alright if we do that, so we just need to extend this here. Yeah, middle mouse button starting to act up. Let's set this here to on. Let's reverse this. There we go. Set that to lock. There we go. And now we don't need the rest of this. We can just build it on the back of that. So that's a handy wee tutorial for anybody that wants to um, build, like, there is loads of ways you can build small grid on large grid, um, that's one way that I've done it before. Um, you can also use the uh, advanced rotors you've seen there to do it, um, there's other ways as well. You can even use um, some merge blocks, fancy way of doing merge blocks, but connectors is my favourite way of doing it. And uh, advanced rotors. And that is bang on the middle, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so that's going to be there. We do know that our hydrogen tank is going to be behind that and it uses large grid. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to keep that there. So that's going to go there. That's going to fill up. Then we want a. Uh, we want hydrogen on each angle, each axis up and down, forward and back. So we will be able to get a hydrogen around those edges there. Right course we don't want to cook it, but let's see. Each one. Let's get um, these here. I think that should be enough there if we do that. No, not too worried about that using the hydrogen.
But I think I can set it to not use the conveyor system. Uh, let me see, is there a way there? True block, auto lock. Now, what is the name of that connector? Let's call it connector and um, supply ships. Diamond ships. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into connector Diamond ships, there it is, and we're gonna tell that not to use the conveyor system. Oh have we removed that? Oh I thought you were able to turn it off, but it seems like you can't. Um, let's see, you should be able to connect the hydrant on this. Let me try. Hydrant's supposed to be there they are. Pass them off. Now I need to remember to turn them on. <laughs> Whenever we're finished building our ass, we're going to have a nice um, fireworks display. Um, so that's going there. I think that is enough for in terms of its axis. I might add some around the top of that because there isn't an analysis going to go there. Although we do need a camera. Yeah, I'm going to replace this here with the camera. Just need to be able to see what we're docking with. And that's going to be this. Thought we want the slant. And then we have the camera. Is that taking up, um, yeah, it's taking up, um, it's, that's a wee bit disappointing. Hmm. Can I ask me put a camera on that, that we'll see where we're going. Can we get a wee bit of putting something like along here? Yeah, it looks like the camera's gonna have to go here. We'll just see how much we can see. There's a wee bit of um, clang or something going on. Yeah, it's the wheel over there is a bit acting up, so it is. Let's take all that off. Let's stop that. Right, um... Yeah, so that's that. That's our camera. Let's see if we can actually see it. So I'll just go over here. Oh, the game's a bit laggy. And camera. Okay. Oh, we can. Nice. Very good. So we can see um, a good enough sort of view from that. So that's alright. But we can put a thruster there. But we can put a conveyor system in instead. Um, right. And now we want our forward and back. Them. So I have an idea for that. So we're going to use um, conveyor, and then we're going to attach that here. But we want this side, and we want the one on this other side. And yeah, that's it. Um, then we want to. Do We want a normal one here. That's going there, yeah. And toggle that off. There we go. And we want uh need forward and back. So we can have this one here as our forward. And our reverser ones can be small conveyor. And uh, where is it? There it is. Our small ones can be these here mounted around the sides. And 
around with these here on the back. I don't think that would cook that there, would I? Just give it a quick test, wouldn't that actually cook this here? How far does it actually just drive logs? Let's see, but I have no one here. Yeah, more or less instant. Okay, that's good. So it's not actually destroying that block. That's good. But is it up to max? Yeah, that's okay. I'm trying to do elf. And producing here, so we know we're not to build in front of those. That's going to be used to store us down, speed us up, and then we can put things like our batteries around the sides of them, and gyros as well. Put two. That did. Then we can put our two generals there, and our so they can go there. There. And I'll get off. And let's turn this here off as well. Build vision is such a blessing. It's so good. There we go. So that's all our thrusters. Um, so we've got our two gyros, we need a remote control block and an antenna, and they can go under here. Um, so we need our remote block. Uh, where is it? Remote. Um, I should know something, it makes sense to put them up here. Eight. And then our laser can go on top. I might actually put the laser up here. Inventory full. Um, I can go up here. And then of course we can put our thruster. One for our downward and go up here. Good. Okay, I'm good. Now we don't want that too close. Um, it's very sort of slim. You can almost travel up a pipe. I just wonder if there's enough thrust to lift that whole thing up. But just to be safe, put an extra. Just in case it's not. Inventory full. And, and then there's another one we can put on top somewhere, I think. No? Ah, be okay. Let's turn them off. And off. Right. 
Okay, that looks like it. Um, um uh, something like that. Uh, looks good. Uh, what I might do actually is, yeah, what I might do actually is, I might put a merge block on here, attach it to a rotor, and then rotate the whole thing up 90 degrees so it's pointing up. That means that this thruster is getting, um, is in the right orientation for blast now because I don't think those two thrusters alone will be quite enough for this. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's rotate the whole thing 90 degrees. Um, so how are we going to do that? From this axis, you're telling me. I think we need a hedge for um, all the part. It's called not uh, We need a small grid advanced rotor part that's going to go here. Um, there, yeah. And then what we're going to do is. Will the piston reach from there? Hopefully it does. Yeah. An advanced rotor on the end of that. And then what we'll do is we'll push that up. So we need to set the minimum on this here. As I'm not minimum the maximum to be about here and let it crawl up and let's reverse that. Okay. See if we can get a rotator around. Just a wee bit, so it's the maximum distance. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to rebuild that whole thing to the right. Energy low. Okay, that looks good. So let's move that up closer. I say another one will do that. That looks good there. What happens if I attach? There we go. Oh, maybe the like. Turn this here off. And what we want to do is we want to roll up that rotor. go and see what happens if we disconnect from this here and what angle is it currently at, at the moment is 18 so we do need to go up the ways so upper limit is 90 Low limit is zero. Okay, velocity will set that to one. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it wants to go that way. So we're just gonna remove this here. And then we're gonna set this here torque. Ok, 
Okay, why is it? Oh, that must be zero then, is it? That's weird. Oh. I know why. There we go. Because the road lock was on. There we go. Let's point it straight up. And we've got that. That's all configured. And what we'll do is we'll set up. I want this to kind of set on its own for a while, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some temporary structures. Expand. Unlock. There we go. Don't need that anymore. So let's get this configured up. And um, this here is charged up. And um, ready to go. Still have the division open. What is that? Yeah, we've got gas in it, that's good. Right, let's set up the controls and we can do that through here. Yeah. So we've got the thrusters. Um this here, this is gonna be um Rescue. Rescue thrusters. Um. Right. Okay. Looking good. And I am wondering if I can get a merge block there. Small merge block. This is what's going to be used to detach from the station. And then what we do is we put um, this one here. Five. And I think I can get the landing gear there. That'll disappear soon enough. And that's gonna be our merge block. Okay. Looks good. How much um, charge is left in one of those batteries? Uh, it's depleting slowly. Oh, we haven't got the laser antenna turned on yet, so let's get that. Um, laser antenna. Copy coordinates. And copy my coordinates. Let's go to the base. Connect with the satellite. And that's gonna be satellite to base coordinates. Connect coordinates. There it is, it's connected. And we're gonna set that up as a permanent connection just for now until we get that um, other ship turned up. So that should be it and it's all connected up and we should be looking at it. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Looks good. Let's go down to the control room.
that's why. Yeah, I had a timer that had it on. Must be intestine. There's a gas launcher right over there as well. Right, let's go up to the third floor. And let's go down to the control room and to the station. Shift key. And we want to take the. I guess this. What's that there? Yeah, let's give it a proper name. Rescue. Rescue. Control. Okay. Um. Looks like we're good. Um. Let's set up the rest of the stuff. Let's see grapes. We want. We need to turn this rest of on and off. We want um, connectors switch lock. We want to turn on and off our um, merge back that's on the side. Yeah. So let's get two, four. Let's pull that. And let's pan it down. So it can um, work on all things, so we should be able to see. Right, that should be behind us. And if it is working, it should. Is the laser. Yeah, the laser seems broken. Yeah, it is connected. Right, that should do. Let's go back and continue on with our voyage. Let's just go straight up. And we want to go to the moon, which is this way. to on the side right okay that's, that's good I don't want to go too fast because if we do just connect I want to be able to connect back on it quickly of this. Let's pause it here. And then slow down. And what we're going to do is just going to go quickly to this. I know this is a wee bit cheaty but
on. Let's get back in. Rescue. There it is. Control. Let's continue on. Disconnect. I did notice the power was on at max. Maybe there wasn't enough power going to it and the antenna. I have to turn it down. Hmm. What's, is it still connected? Yeah, it's trying to establish the connection to it. Mm. So guys, I'm going to end that there. Um, I did spend majority of the time after that trying to see why the rescue ship was disconnecting from the satellite or disconnecting from the base. Now I do think it is game mechanics because as you can see here there's the antenna there and we wouldn't be able to see that unless it was connected up to the satellite and back down to the base. So there does seem to be some sort of an issue with the game. Um, what I was thinking in the background uh, or shortly after playing the game was that we do have a way of connecting up to the satellite and then the satellite connects directly over to the moon. But what I might do is, and it's something that I've done in my last world, my last base, and that's set up relay points, otherwise known as cellular towers, if you're familiar with that. And basically what it's going to do is, instead of connecting with a satellite, we're going to connect this base with various other bases that are going to act as relays. So we have this here, so if you imagine that um, 
laser antenna connects with like say a wee base that's up here on the perch of that mountain and it has two laser antennas it's kind of like a satellite only except the satellite is a base and then that one there beams to say another one that's sitting on top of that mountain etc and that just goes around the the globe now if we are going to be building them sort of bases we are going to stick three laser antennas so one will connect to it then the next one will beam to the next one but then the third laser antenna can say connect to another satellite and that way we connect the map uh, with what's known as a topology and that's a term used in networking where you have multiple sort of paths uh, for different connections to go so it's a bit like redundancy and like fail safe and reliability in that there but um, in terms of that it's just a lot better so what we are going to do is in the next episode uh, we are going to hopefully finish off with the mission we might create those relay points we might continue on and see if we can connect with the rescue antenna and um, if we can't get any of that done I think what we'll do is we'll take a break from going to the moon and um, what we'll do is we'll finish off getting this here grinding pit done once that grinding pit's done we move on to getting the the lift done in here and the lift is going to be offset inside here so we'll dig out a hole here that'll go straight down to the bottom level and then we'll put the lift in and that will take a few episodes but uh, I just want to take a wee break from the moon like we did dedicate quite a lot of episodes to the moon itself and personally I feel a wee bit burned out from doing it so I'd rather I want to move on to something else uh, just so that no one takes the the um the time off and I just noticed that this here isn't built as uh, so that needs to be finished but uh, yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the grinding pit do the lift shaft and then what we can do is we can resume from the moon mission that's if we can't get connected to that so yeah what we'll do is next episode connect try connect back to this here if we can't we move on to something else because i know that other parts of the episodes or uh, other parts of the series i did say like i wanted to build some things out here you no know, like big uh, mining uh, drilling rigs uh, crane systems and another thing i want to add on to the to-do list is build an international space station and this space station will be using what's known as the orbital script so what it'll do is it'll go around the globe and go past the satellite and it's just a space station and what we can do is we can connect like ships to it and different things like that but it's going to be a weaponized space station like the the space station that the nasa uses at the moment it's um more for it's more for like uh, experimental but we're going to be using the International Space Station for uh, weaponry. So there'll be artillery, uh, missiles, and uh, different things like that will be on it. So it means that if we come across an enemy base around the globe, we just wait for it to get into position, aim at it, and blast uh, a missile at it. So that's what we're going to be doing. And that'll be part of the global defense um, point that we wanted to make, you know, the achievement or objective, I should say. Um, so that's going to be it anyway. Next episode is going to be testing out the rescue antenna and again if that doesn't work we build the grinding pit and then we do the lift shaft. And the grinding pit shouldn't take that long. I have an idea on how we're going to do it so long story short we're actually going to build it off out of the ground. Uh, it's going to be like a wireframe version of it. Those builds are going to be turned off and then once that's done we take a projection of it, project it in here. That way we know how much to sort of like uh, dig out, let it build, and then that's pretty much it. But what I am thinking of is like a hopper style grinding pit. So if you imagine, if you imagine that there's laid out with grinders around the edge of that, and then there's like a hopper that comes out like this here. But of course the hopper has to sit down in the ground, so that's not actually... That is, that's not going to be the height, it's going to be like well done so that's why I want to build it up and also because we have the blueprint of it if it gets damaged at least then you just run the blueprint and it repairs it up and uh, that does seem like a good enough um, shape for a grinding pit so yeah we'll do that so that's going to be coming up in the next episode again we'll just go and see if we can connect with that rescue antenna but until then thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one